Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Michiel, and I'm here today to present the research I conducted for my master dissertation. As you can see from the title, uh, this lecture is situated in an entirely different research field and focuses on rogue salt production in the field of amino acid As I just mentioned, we focused on rogue salt production in the field of amino acid oils, and Kivitas is an ancient growing and domestic area. So, in Kivitas and Nagi Oil, which you can see as a uh, rogue and domestic area situated alongside the coast of northern France, Belgium, and the southern parts of the Netherlands. In this area, we identified 18 uh, production sites dating from the late Iron Age to the Roman uh, period, in which we tried to develop how salt was produced. This was then complemented uh, to the analysis of Vitekage of Pottery from the region of Zipper and Hitzschere, which should be uh, indicated in red, but is uh, uh, blank on this site. <coughs> Why did we study salt production? Well, uh, salt was a very valuable commodity throughout the history, which is rather neglected in archaeological and historical uh, research. And salt also had a, a huge economic impact, as seen from the Inalendia authors founded by salt merchants that were active uh, in the area. So in antiquity, there were two ways to produce uh, salt. Uh, on the one hand, salt was produced in a salt pan or a salina uh, through natural uh, evaporation, as you can see uh, on the picture on the left, and it's still in use today. On the other hand, salt was produced by artificially heating the brine of briquet, uh, of, uh, of brine and containers of uh, briquetage of pottery above a fire until salt was obtained. In Northern Europe, However, uh, climatological conditions prevented the use of the more basic system of natural evaporation, so only uh, the more complex uh, machine uh, technique was uh, available. This technique could theoretically be divided in eight production phases, going from the construction of a, 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 a salt work to the production of a brine and the crystallization of salt. This salt was then transported to the hinterland where it was initially. Uh, important uh, in this production process and crucial for our research was the production of briquetage elements. And briquetage is a collective for pottery elements that were used in uh, the salt production process. And there are three main categories there are uh, salt containers, support elements, and structural uh, materials. And as you can see from the pictures below, uh, briquetage elements are very uh, brittle. So it results in a huge degree of fragmentation. Due to this fragmentation, this pottery was until now never really studied uh, in the area. But uh, given the fact that it was uh, very fragmented, our research was also rather limited. And we tried to determine the potential of Vicatage pottery for further research. Without going into too much detail, there were several online results. We could identify at least six, six types of salt containers that were used to produce uh, the salt. And there were also uh, several types of uh, stabilizers, uh, which you can uh, see on the right. And that were, were elements that were used in a vertical position to uh, support the containers above the fire. There were also several types of uh, stabilizers. This is the picture uh, uh, above. And uh, the stabilizers were attached to the containers of the production heat and became uh, stable in the production process. We therefore concluded that there was a much wider morphological and typological variety than previously assumed, and that the analysis of Vicatage of Pottery led to a better understanding of the production process. In other words, uh, the study of Vicatage of Pottery has a, a lot of potential that is yet to be explored. However, our research was conducted in a rather small area, so several elements uh, of our study needs to be validated in a larger uh, area. In our study, we also uh, posed several questions concerning the economic significance uh, of uh, salt production uh, that should be addressed in the field. I thank you for your attention.